Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at another problem in our array series called frequencies uh, sorted array. So what this question asks is basically what are the details of this question says uh, we are given an array with the element size sorted order. Okay, like 10, 10, 10, 20, 20, 30. Alright. Now what we have to do is we have to you know tell the frequency of every element. Suppose here there are three tens of first ten and its frequency twenty has uh, two elements, its frequency is two, so twenty and two. Thirty has a single element, thirty and one. Alright, let's see the other example where all the elements are same. So we just count the numbers one, two, three, four, one, two, three, ten and four. Here all the elements are distinct. So the output is going to be 10, 1, 21, 30, 1. Alright, cool. Now this is this is what you have to uh, print here. Now um, the biggest question which comes in your mind uh, it would be how to uh, like do this. Like, uh, the, uh, you must have get, get the basic idea that how can you solve this thing right but the biggest thing is the implementation so see the basic idea would be what that uh, you run a loop from this element and this element and you see that while this while array i is equal to array i minus one you increase the frequency and as soon as it is not equal to you just see out the frequency and then you go for another thing, another arrow still and it comes I I reach here. Okay. So that would be the basic idea. You might have like figured it out. But the thing is that such questions have a little tricky implementation. Like you must have like uh, figured out what to write but you don't but you get stuck up in the implementation okay so um, with these things in your mind you may like pause this video for two or three minutes and you might want to uh, try the code want to write the code on your own um, if you get stuck up uh, you'll see like I'll obviously do the coding parts you can see that Okay, so now let's jump to uh, coding part. Let's add header file here. We have main space std. Let's have a main function here. Let's have a in the ten, 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 twenty, twenty, thirty, and is equal to six. Let's write the split three. Well, let's see the function and let's call the arguments here. Let's have a size for it. So we'll have a variable frequency, which will have the frequency. We should keep the decoder frequency. And now we have an iterator as one. Now while I so when wondering why did I we start a we are starting at one moment because what we're going to do here is we are going to start an iterator from this point and we'll go to here and we'll say that if array i is equal to array i minus one. Alright. So that's why we are doing that. Uh, when you are from is equal to 1. 
so this is we are going to do another thing we are going to write is start while i is less than n and i write till r i minus 1 is equal to r i we will do two things we will increase the what we will increase the frequency right and we will obviously increase the i so um, in this case so let's do this thing first i is here right so frequency usually is what one we see this is equal to this frequency becomes two r i comes i comes here right now we see that this element is equal to this element of frequency becomes three now r i becomes here and it is not equal to this so we we'll come out of this loop all right now we will write uh, the frequency for the uh, data 10 right. so we are going to do we are going to simply see how and this one and frequency and then we want out the space now uh, what we are doing here is C now what we do here is we have to now find the frequency for this so we will reset the frequency so our new frequency now becomes what? 1 now element becomes 9 because we you know as we reset the frequency to 1 we are already having the first appearance so we just remove this one and try to do that um, so um, yeah this is what we are doing there ok I will check this again we see that area i will be done on this one frequency becomes 2 and comes to here and so what will be the frequency here it is um, going to be what 2 right so now we just have to change the frequency so yeah that was all for this code right let's try and run this thing Okay, right. We are um, missing one thing here. Okay, that is while I is um, less than or equal to C. I will come here. Right now, what will happen? That I will go to uh, this part. Right. So what we have to do here is that suppose so this is a corner case uh, basically when we have last element as only a uh, single frequency. All right. What will happen is we have to have a more C out. 
So to be I minus one. Now try and run this code. Yes, the output is correct now. Right. So yeah, this was you know all for this video where we talked about like how to find the frequency of elements in the sorted array right where the idea was very simple but the implementation was a little bit tricky so yeah that was all for this video and see you later thank you